member again. So the One Direction member I am going to see tomorrow is Louis Tomlinson. He is performing his new single, Miss You, for the first time since it's been released. I obviously, I cannot wait. I am so excited. This will be my second time hearing Miss You Now live because I was lucky enough to be able to be at Key 103 where he performed it for the first time, basically dropped it on us all, no warning whatsoever, and we all just basically, you know, deceased. That's just the best way to put it because no one was expecting it at all and everyone just loved it. He is performing at The X Factor and tickets for The X Factor aren't exactly the easiest things to get because they're not like you can go on and buy them. They are actually free tickets. However, the way they distribute them is you have to apply with your email address and then it's basically like a waiting game to see whether you get them or not. And luckily, I was a lucky person to get tickets, which I was so incredibly grateful for. Like, honestly, I was so happy. So not only did I get tickets for Louis on Saturday, but I also got tickets to see Little Mix on Sunday, which I've given to my friend because she's like the biggest Little Mix fan I've ever known. When I applied for these Louis tickets, I actually got quite a few through. So I've given those away to some people I know who unfortunately weren't able to get tickets themselves. So yeah, I was pretty chuffed with just these like general tickets to get in to see the X Factor. However, Louis Tomlinson, whilst I was at college, decided to tweet this link with no explanation whatsoever and I was like, oh, what's this? So I clicked on it and then it was like, oh, join Louis Tomlinson, stage side for dress rehearsal and I was like, apply. So yeah, and then my mum applied and we actually got some, like, we are literally, we are physically seeing Louis Tomlinson not only perform on the X Factor, but do his dress rehearsal, which means that we could hear this song like several times, which I I don't know if I'll be able to cope because I can't even cope now. I was literally on my living room floor where I was like crying, like as if we have literally just got to get see Louis in his dress rehearsal. I honestly, I am so happy. I can't even tell you how happy I am. And what's even better is the fact that a lot of the girls who go to like the same stuff as me all seem to have tickets as well which I'm so happy about because I'm friends with a lot of them so it'll be so good to see all those people again and obviously I'm just really genuinely happy for them because a lot of them are like Louis girls so to be able to see their favourite member like that up close and personal like honestly I'm just like so happy for us all because like we, oh my gosh I just I can't wait I'm so excited now and it's like it's like really stressful again because you know you don't know if you're gonna get let in because it's just general admission which means that it's kind of a first come first serve basis so I have heard that there are some people there now camping it's 9 40 on Friday the 1st of December which is obviously the night before the event and there's people already camping and we're not going to get there until about half past 11 so we're probably going to join them not 100% sure yet but I think seeing as it's first come first serve basis I think we're going to have to join them because I just don't want to risk not getting in because I mean just to be that up close and personal with Louis it just honestly is like a dream I just I just really want to be there like not just with him but for him that we don't know what to believe anymore and no one knows what's going on and we're all stressed and we don't know what to do or anything like that because we don't even know if it's really stage side or what so we're just all a little bit confused really tired i think i only had about three hours sleep last night on a lovely concrete floor which i did not think i was going to be doing without a tent i'm not going to lie 
What we do know, however, is that 80 people are going in and I am number four. So I am 100% guaranteed to be going in. Hopefully, I will get front row and I will show you all what it's like once we're in there. So we've just got back to the hotel and that was honestly the best experience ever. Honestly, it was absolutely amazing. Like no one knew what was going to happen or what was happening at all because we were kept pretty much in the dark. Like the hair on my eye, it's annoying me. Yeah, we were kept pretty much in the dark like all day so no one knew what we were going to be doing or anything like that. We just knew that we had these like special Louis, t Louis tickets if you'd like and we thought we were going into the dress rehearsal which we didn't because that's what the ticket said and we didn't go in there and we're like so what's happening then but basically what happened was Louis specifically wanted fans I don't even know how to explain it like they had like a catwalk and Louis specifically wanted fans standing on that catwalk for him to walk up and down through and oh my gosh he walked past me and i swear the smile he smiled so big when he came on stage and saw all the fans there like just on the like catwalk bit just like proper rooting for him and honestly it was probably like my favorite louis experience i've ever had there was about i'd say 100 fans 
in total that queued up and 80 of us got let in which was a real shame because obviously there was only 20 left over so it was like really upsetting seeing people like just not get given wristbands because we all got given like wristbands and stuff like loads of like loads and loads of wristbands for some reason yeah when we all got given wristbands and they just stopped giving out these wristbands for the last couple of people and it was like quite upsetting to see actually so because the 80 of us had like a lot of waiting around to do we were all absolutely exhausted so it was so good to like after louis performance it was so good to see everyone like come out like properly buzzing like so happy and everything because obviously like i say we didn't know what was going on and we didn't know what we were going to be doing or anything like that so to see everyone's like faces just as they were coming out because Louis literally acknowledged us all in some way and either looked at us or smiled at us, sang to us, pointed. It, honestly he just made us feel like we were like we were his best friends. Like honestly. He was like just it was just amazing. Thank you to everyone who's messaged me, tweeted me and everything like that before and after Louis' performance. I really appreciate all the love. So yeah, that is pretty much it unfortunately. It's probably been about half an hour and I really miss Louis already. So I don't know what I'm gonna do when he tours because that's gonna be just horrendous. But anyway, give this video a massive thumbs up if you love Louis and if you watched his X Factor performance and adored it. Comment down below what you think of the live version of Miss You and the studio version of Miss You because they're both just equally fantastic. And also don't forget to press that subscribe button and press the bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that is it. I just want to finish this vlog by telling you all to follow your passion, make it happen, and I'll see you all in the next vlog. Bye! Raining in Doncaster, Louis.